This is the grade six math practice test for TN ready question number 17. Which expression is equivalent to the product of six and y? There's a couple things that you have to know here. First off, you need to know what the word product means. You should at this point, it means multiply. I always think like the grocery store products, like an eggs are products, right? So they come in groups of 12, you buy them a dozen at a time. So if you buy three of their products, you're getting 36 eggs. So in my head, that's where I think about it. Uh, sum is the addition word most likely associated. Difference is subtraction and quotient is divide. But you need to know that. The other thing you need to know is, well, what does 6y look like when you multiply? When we start to work with variables, we no longer use the x symbol for multiply because there is a very common variable to make it x and this looks very confusing. We also stop using uh, using the dot generally speaking that's another way you can show multiply by the way like six times two because in algebra your brain turns off of the idea of using x here so people start using a dot and that's what you do when you're separating constants like this but when we have a variable term and a number which in this case we would refer to as a coefficient if i can get this to erase there we go this computer lost its mind um, we will just put them together so they just touch that's how you show multiply. Now we can identify the 6 as a coefficient on the variable of y. So you're just looking for multiply. That's what that looks like. It's here. This is obviously not product because this is addition. So that's out. It shows the sign. Subtraction here shows the sign. And this is a fraction, which is a division. When we have one third, that really means one whole divided into three parts, and we only have one of those parts. So that's a division statement. This is all that's left. So as long as you know the sum, difference, product, and quotient words and what they're associated with, and then what they look like, you should be in good shape on these types of questions.